Folks, thanks for coming on the line with us today. My name is John Dubas. I'm a Vice President for Agent Success with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next hour or so speaking to some products from one of our favored main carriers that help us make certain that our prospects and clients have a full package of protection when it comes to their health care needs. What we're doing is we're looking to make certain that it is covered. Um, our presentation today is being recorded. We will send out a list of frequently asked questions as well. So please put your questions into the question box on your control panel, um, and we'll make certain that those are distributed at the end as well. You will get the presentation in a PDF format, and as I mentioned, today's presentation is being recorded, and you will get a link to that as well. So as a little bit of background foreground for you, um, we will be spending the next hour discussing the Cigna ben uh, supplemental benefits. Uh, we'll give you a little bit of information about Premier Marketing. We are a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We have offices across the country acting as an insurance wholesaler with independent insurance agents as our customers, and we offer contracts at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available where folks qualify. As I mentioned, we were founded in 1968, so this is our 50th anniversary. It's a bit of a Horatio Alger success story in the fact that a small family agency in a small town in Nebraska has grown into one of the largest organizations of its type in the country. We are the largest producer for a number of carriers in the Medicare Advantage world, including United Healthcare, Anthem, and Meridian Care. And this gives you an idea of the scope of our partnership across the country. We have a very strong coverage across the, uh, the United States, uh, including the islands, if you want to go there too. Uh, the portfolio of insurance products that we offer is rather robust. In, in addition to the Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and Prescription Drug Plans, we do offer a portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including a final expense life insurance and pre-need programs, long and short-term care programs, disability insurance, and a number of ancillary benefits, including dental, vision, hearing benefits, critical illness, cancer programs, and hospital indemnity programs, and that is a portion of our focus here today. Uh, that Medicare Advantage portfolio includes all the name brands that you can think of and a number of the strong regional carriers, as does our standalone prescription drug programs for folks on Medicare as well. The Medicare Supplement portfolio is very robust. We do a number of different programs um, in support of this product, and it includes our partnership with Cigna. So what we'll do now for the next 45 minutes or so is go through and visit about Cigna's supplemental benefit package. And our guest speaker today is Ms. Juliet Buck. She's going to go through things with us here today. And you no longer have to listen to my cold, influenced voice. I'm going to put myself on mute and turn it over to Juliet. Juliet, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Juliet Buck. I am with Cigna, and I, uh, I've been with Cigna about 11 years or so uh, on our sales enablement team. Um, I have experience in our Medicare products as well as our ACA and major medical products, supplemental health that we're going to speak to today, um, as well as life. So um, glad to be with you guys here today um, going over some of our supplemental products uh, with Cigna. Next slide. Um, I am going to go ahead and start off with our cancer product. You can go to the next slide. Um, this is our flexible choice cancer, heart attack, and stroke policy. Um, this is a lump sum uh, policy. And really what these supplemental health products are designed to do, and, and I'm sure you're familiar with this if you've sold in this space before, but really designed to fill in those gaps. Um, where a major medical or a Medicare product leaves off or, you know, if no one ha uh, they don't have coverage at all. Um, this is designed to, to really help fill in those gaps so that uh, the insured can um, focus on recovery and be able to have some, uh, some financial assistance there. So um, I will go through some of our um, 
product features with you, but just to kind of uh, introduce it, um, it is a lump sum policy. It's a standalone policy, so um, it truly is not affected by any other insurance they may or may not have. It's a lump sum check um, that would be made out to the insured or to the beneficiary um, and also guaranteed uh, renewable for life, uh, for the life of the policy. Next slide. Um, the next few slides, I'm going to kind of speak to you about positioning uh, before we jump into those product features because, um, you know, the features are the features and it's very easy to understand, I think, but really you want to talk about positioning and having that conversation with the customer and really opening the door um, to be able to speak, um, speak to the customer about the need of why they might actually need this product. Um, I have a handful of statistics on the slide, you know, um, depending on how you, you know, personally uh, style your spiel, so to speak, or your conversations with your customers, sometimes these statistics may or may not um, assist you in helping to paint that picture. But I do think that, um, you know, that first, that first bullet as well as um, the bottom two bullets there uh, in that first section are really um, ones to speak to, to help paint the need. Um, one in two men and one in three women um, have the lifetime risk of developing cancer. And then those two there in that same section at the bottom, 7.9 million living Americans have suffered a heart attack and stroke is the leading cause of disability. So that can kind of start to paint the picture of, um, uh, of the need for this type of a product, for a cancer product and a heart attack and stroke product. Obviously, we don't want to use scare tactics and um, you know, uh, frighten our customer into thinking that they have to purchase this, but it, it really is a need out there that, um, you know, the, the risk of them suffering from one of these uh, conditions is, is truly out there. And um, if they have major medical coverage, if they have Medicare coverage, Medicare supplement even, um, there are going to be gaps in things that, uh, that folks don't think about, things that are um, you know, outside of what the health policy is going to cover, um, you know, policies that have deductibles, policies uh, that have daily hospital um, uh, co-payments and, and co-insurance and things like that. So um, when you start to think about those, those uh, the risk that is there and then the unexpected expenses that aren't necessarily thought of outside of straight health expenses, you can really start to paint that picture. Next slide. And then I do also want to mention, too, as I'm talking about um, the need for this and positioning, a lot of times it does come down to who brings up the product first. So a lot of folks out there don't know that these types of policies exist, that these types of lump sum policies exist, where um, you get a diagnosis, you get the lump sum benefit. So a lot of folks don't know that's there, and they're going to end up buying from the first person who brings it up. Um, so that's why it's important to always have the conversation, to always bring it up to your customer. Um, I'll show some premiums later on, but it's an affordable add-on um, that really does truly give peace of mind uh, to the customer. So if you think about some of these um, costs that are associated with uh, cancer or heart attack, again, it's not just healthcare. Um, there's all kinds of costs that, that folks don't think of. One of the big ones that comes to mind is transportation. So um, if someone is to be uh, or, or someone was diagnosed with cancer and they're going through treatments, um, a lot of times those treatment centers or those centers of excellence are not necessarily 5, 10, 20, 30 you know, miles away. It's going to be a drive. It might be that they have to stay in a hotel um, overnight. Um, a lot of times those treatments may start early in the morning. So someone um, for their comfort may want to, um, you know, leave early, spend the night in a hotel and then get up early and go to that treatment. So there's definitely all kinds of things that people don't think about. And that's where you come, you know, into play as the agent to, to start painting that picture, having those conversations with the customer, asking them, you know, who do you have your cancer insurance with? Um, has anyone in your family or have you ever um, had cancer? Um, you know, maybe you've seen personally some of those 
uh, expenses that come up that folks don't necessarily think about. So start having those conversations uh, with the customer. Um, I mentioned before, you know, bringing up uh, to the potential customer, have you ever had cancer? So when we take a look at the underwriting, um, it's a 10 year look back. So if they've been cancer free for 10 years, um, they can still potentially um, be a candidate for, for this policy. It's not a first diagnosis policy. It's, it's a 10 year look back on, uh, on cancer. Next slide. All right. So again, you know, speaking to positioning, who is interested? Really is anyone, honestly. Um, it's got a pretty wide uh, age range that we offer 18 to 99. So um, truly almost anyone that you are speaking with can potentially be um, a, a customer. So um, unexpected expenses, those things that Medicare, um, you know, ACA policies don't necessarily cover, retirement policies don't necessarily cover, transportation costs, um, experimental therapies, uh, you know, prescription drugs that may not be on a formulary, um, even other things that people don't necessarily think about. Maybe it's a specific diet that now um, the, the doctor wants the customer to go on. Um, you know, sometimes those uh, organic foods can be a little bit more expensive. So things like that that start to add up uh, that folks don't think about. Um, even utilities, um, mortgage payments, um, maybe it's a, a senior who is a guardian or, you know, takes care of a grandchild and now they, you know, are going through treatments and the grandchild will need to go into uh, daycare. So things like that that, you know, of course, aren't covered on, on health policies um, that, that this policy can help pay for. But the bottom line that I want to um, reiterate is uh, just bringing this up in conversation because, again, a lot of folks don't know it exists. And so, Obviously, the more you bring it up, the more opportunity you're going to have to, to make a sale. Next slide. Taking a look at product availability, it's uh, in just about every single state we do offer the product. Um, and if you have written business with Cigna before, um, you might be familiar with our Express app. We'll take a look a little bit later in the presentation of what it uh, looks like to quote uh, the product. but um, for those of you who might have um, non-resident licenses in other states, all of our products, we do allow phone sales. And I do have a slide on that a little bit later in the presentation as well. But phone sales are a super, super easy way to expand your footprint, expand your book of business if you have um, non-resident licenses. Um, it's really as easy as speaking with the customer on the phone, um, just as if you were you know, sitting at their kitchen table or if they're in your office. Um, you know, going through your needs analysis, uh, going through that application with them on the phone, asking them all the questions, recording the answers on the application and express that, and then hitting submit. Um, with our cancer product, if you're selling a benefit amount of 50000 and under, there's really no additional steps besides going through the app with the customer and hitting submit. Uh, if you're selling over 50000 in benefit, we do require a quick uh, phone verification, and I'll show uh, I'll show you some more information on that a little bit later. But um, all day long, if you're writing 50k and under, you can just go to that app with the customer. There's verification questions built into the application. Click submit and send that on its way to be processed. So it's a super super easy process. Next slide. All right, I'll kind of get into the nuts and bolts of the product a little bit. Again, it's it's really really easy to sell, super easy to understand. Um, it's ages 18 to 99. Lump sum benefits are available from 5 to 100K. Again, if it's 50K and under of the benefit amount that, that your beneficiary, or excuse me, that your um, applicant has chosen, uh, 50K and under, there's no phone interview. You simply go through the app with the customer and hit submit. Uh, but they can choose 5 to $100,000. Um, also, Express app, it's super easy to toggle back and forth between those uh, benefit amounts and see what the core, um, corresponding premium is for that benefit amount. It is a tax-free lump sum cash payment that's paid directly to the insured um, or to their chosen beneficiary. Uh, guaranteed renewable for life, so some peace of mind there for the customer that as long as they continue to pay their premiums um, and 
uh, continue to pay those premiums, we will keep the policy uh, going per the contract of the policy. Um, affordable issue age premiums, so it is locked in at issue age. Um, we do reserve the right as a company to increase the premiums on a class basis. Um, this particular product has been around since 2014. We've not had any rate increases on it. Um, and the product that preceded it, uh, that this one replaced a, a different lump sum, that also, that one did not have any rate increases either. So uh, just some information there for you. Um, we do offer individual couple, single parent, so one parent and uh, um, dependents, and then also family coverage would be two parents and dependents. There's some additional riders available. Riders do vary by state. We have a recurrence rider and a restoration rider, and I'll kind of go into a little more detail on those two um, that give the, the uh, insured an additional payout uh, beyond just that first lump sum. Um, so if they just have the, the base policy, basically the policy ends after they get that lump sum, after they get that diagnosis. But if they have either the recurrence or the restoration rider, the policy would continue to, to stay in force they continue to pay their premiums, and if they were to get a, a subsequent diagnosis, they would get additional payouts. Um, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, and then EFT uh, is the preferred method for uh, setting up the policy, just to you know give peace of mind of that customer, keeping that policy consistently on the books um, uh, for the customer. Uh, they do have other ways that they can pay as well if they would like to do that, and that's all easily set up in Express App. Next slide. Next slide. All righty, so um, how the policy works is, again, the base policy is super easy to explain to a customer. They can choose between a cancer-based policy or a heart attack and stroke-based policy. Um, they can also add on the other policy as a rider to that base policy. So if they wanted, uh, you know, 20K of cancer and then 10K of heart attack and stroke, as a rider, they can do that. Um, the only thing is that you would not be able to add on a rider to a rider. So if they wanted any of the riders associated with the cancer-based policy, it would have to be purchased with a cancer-based policy. Um, but for both of those, it's a benefit amount of five to hundred thousand um, dollars. And for cancer, it's a uh, payout is for a diagnosis of invasive or non-invasive. So I believe carcinoma inside you. If you Google it, it's a uh, um, uh, just uh, defined as stage zero. So um, uh, it, it is an actual diagnosis. So you're, you're uh, insured if they're asked, or your potential customer, if they're asking about it, that would truly be a diagnosis of, um, of carcinoma situ or non-invasive. But it is a five to $100,000 benefit amount choice, and it does pay out 100% for both invasive and non-invasive. For heart attack and stroke, um, there are some qualifying events that would have a uh, decreased payout, but it would be a total of 100% of their chosen benefit amount. So we'll take a look at that as well. So again, they can choose to have um, uh, each one of those as a base. They can also add each one on as a rider if they'd like to do that. Um, just a quick note to the premiums, there, if they, they can get two base policies if they'd like to do that. Um, let's say they wanted to get a 30K base cancer and a 10K base heart. Um, they could also get a 30K base, base cancer and a 10K uh, heart attack rider. There's not going to be a premium savings there. It truly really is more of ease of, of doing the business, um, of having one policy versus uh, two separate policies. Next slide. Um, so again, 100% payout for cancer, carcinoma, size two. I do also want to mention that it is 100% payout for dependents, for children on the policy. So um, no caps there, no percentages for children. Um, all people who are insured on the policy, um, every person insured would get that 100% payout. Um, so for cancer, again, carcinoma, in situ, and cancer, uh, both would get the full benefit. Next slide. All right, so the recurrence rider, I mentioned this one before. So if they add on the recurrence rider, they can get an additional 100%, uh, up to 100% uh, 
um, subsequent payment for additional diagnosis. Um, and that would be any diagnosis. So it doesn't have to be the same diagnosis. Uh, there is a time period that they have to have not had any advice or treatment, and that's two years. So for example, let's say they were diagnosed uh, with breast cancer and they went through their treatment and then they were cancer free. Uh, so they got their payout for that original diagnosis. Let's say it was uh, $10,000. So they get their $10,000 payout. Well, after that first diagnosis, since, or after that diagnosis, since they have the recurrence rider, they'd continue to pay their premiums. The policy would continue to stay in force. And let's say that they received a subsequent diagnosis three years later for a different type of cancer. Let's say um, it was for lung cancer. So at that point, three years later, you can see in that first uh, bucket there, between two to five years, they would get an additional 25% of their payout. So they would get 25% of that original $10,000 payout, if that's their benefit amount. And then they can keep paying their premiums. Policy continues to stay in force. Let's say they're cancer free. Um, and then um, let's say uh, another 12 years goes by. So now they're in that 10 or more bucket there at the end since they still have 75% left of that original benefit payout, they can receive the remaining 75%. Um, so um, it, it really just depends on what time frame it falls into, just not to exceed, a, uh, not to exceed 100% of that original elected benefit payout. So depending on what time frame it is, 25%, uh, 75%, or 100%, and not to exceed 100%. Um, of that payout. Um, so this adds peace of mind there for the customer that the plan will not only be there uh, as a payout for them the first time, um, but also uh, for subsequent times as well. Um, also, um, from the agent perspective, it does increase the persistency, keeping those renewal commissions going, keeping those uh, that policy on the books. Next slide. All right, so for the heart attack and stroke policy, the way this one works is um, there's some uh, qualifying events um, that have different amounts uh, to determine what the payout is. So if you look at this chart here, the top three events, heart attack, heart transplant, and stroke, those you can see to the right of that, it has 100%. So if um, the insured was to be diagnosed um, or have um, a heart attack, heart transplant, or stroke, they would receive 100% of that payout. But let's say that they had uh, their first event, once they get the policy, is that they have a stent placement. Well, at that point, they would receive 10% of their selected benefit amount. So let's say $10,000, they would receive 10% of $10,000, and they would still have 90% of their payout um, available. So let's say six months later, they have to have an angioplasty. And my apologies, I, I, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, so I uh, don't necessarily know the order that these occur in, but just roll with me here for the sake of the, uh, the example. Um, angio, let's say six months later, they had an angioplasty. They would then receive an additional 10% of that $10,000 payout. So now they've used up 20% of their payout and there's still 80% remaining. And let's say a year goes by and they have um, a stroke. So at that point, they would then receive the remaining 80%, so just not to exceed a total of 100% payout. Uh, next slide. All right, and the recurrent, excuse me, the restoration writer works just like the recurrence writer. So it will pay a uh, subsequent payout if they are to have um, additional heart attacks, stroke, or, or heart transplant. So in this particular rider, the um, qualifying events uh, that you saw on the, the previous screen that were at the bottom of the page, those won't apply for additional payouts. It would only be um, subsequent heart attack, stroke, or heart transplant. So works the same way. Um, they do have to fit into those time periods, uh, time periods that you see there of the years since the last heart attack, stroke, or heart transplant, but if they are to suffer additional um, events within those time periods, they can receive additional payouts of their selected benefit amount, not to exceed 100% of that additional uh, payout. So 
So again, it, it's, um, you know, additional peace of mind for the customer. Uh, persistency, and I meant, uh, forgot to mention this on the other slide as well, but for the recurrence and the restoration rider, the add-on for that, the cost is roughly 10% of the base premium. So it's very affordable uh, for that customer to continue um, keeping the policy on the books and having that peace of mind that they are to have um, additional events or additional diagnosis. Next slide. All right, so there are some additional riders here. Um, I'm not gonna go into great detail on these. Um, there's some descriptions about them in uh, the brochures. Um, also because, um, you know, it is super easy really just to sell those, uh, those base policies um, since they are very easy to explain. I do kind of want to call out the, the hospital riders. I know that um, some folks will um, find this uh, appealing to customers who are on Medicare Advantage plans, uh, Medicare Advantage plans to kind of help fit in um, those daily hospital uh, co-insurance amounts that the customer might have to cover. Um, we do offer these policies over 65. Um, the benefit will reduce by 50% when the client, tur client turns 65. Um, so that is just something to keep in mind, but we still you know, do offer that valuable coverage. Uh, there are some com uh, competitors out in the field with these types of products that, that stop it, uh, cap it at 65. But if they do want to buy the rider when they're 65 or older, you would just simply quote them the double rate for the benefit that they want. So, for example, if they wanted a $200 a day coverage quote, um, you would quote the $400 a day rate. Um, so uh, there's the HI rider, the IC rider, and the HIC rider that is kind of like a combo there. Um, another call out is that the hospitalization there, um, as well as um, uh, being um, uh, confined to the ICU, it doesn't have to be related to the cancer or the heart attack and stroke uh, policy. So they can simply just be hospitalized or have to go into ICU, and it doesn't have to be pertaining to a cancer diagnosis or a heart attack diagnosis. It's a separate uh, rider there. Um, also, the return of premium rider, um, they can either get a benefit payout um, if they do have a qualifying event or their beneficiary, for the, if they get the ROP rider, the beneficiary would get the premiums that the insurer has paid in upon death um, uh, so that there is you know, some sort of payout, whether or not it goes to the beneficiary or to the insured because of a qualifying event. Uh, next slide. So this is just showing some, um, there you go, <laughs> um, showing some sample, uh, sample rates here. So um, I encourage you to go into Express App and just start quoting around. I've uh, just kind of pulled a, a couple of zip codes here and a couple of ages and some random benefit amounts. But um, I encourage you to go in and start quoting that. You know, if you have a, an upcoming appointment with, um, you know, someone in a particular zip code, um, maybe you have a MedSup or a MedAdvantage appointment coming up during uh, during AAP and you want to, uh, you know, cross-sell, pitch um, a cancer policy or pitch a heart attack and stroke policy. Um, you know, when you're talking, maybe if the customer is going through underwriting and maybe they've mentioned to you um, in their Medicare underwriting um, or med, uh, yeah, their Medicare um, supplement underwriting, maybe they've mentioned, you know, that they're in good health, but, um, you know, their sister had cancer or their sister had heart disease. And, um, you know, I've spoken to many seniors and um, they, you know, if they're in good health, they, I found that they really enjoy talking about that. So um, it is a good thing, you know, that, uh, to, to have that conversation and kind of start swinging it towards the way of the cross sell. So, for example, you know, Ms. Jones, you told me you're in great health, um, but you said that your sister had cancer. Uh, you know, I'm so sorry, you know, to hear that. So you might know, um, you know, from her experience, some of those costs that, um, that she had to, to deal with that she, ne you know, didn't necessarily think about. So kind of start thinking about how you can bring it up. But um, ex uh, this is an example for a $5,000 benefit amount, um, uh, state of Texas, I believe, uh, $16 a month for a um, age uh, 66. This is unisex and, you know, tobacco rates, just FYI. Uh, next slide. Next slide, um, uh, issue age of 70 for a 10K uh, benefit amount uh, for cancer. 
3650. Next slide. This is an example of um, a younger age group. Um, so, you know, the rates obviously are going to be a little bit um, a little bit more affordable there for that younger age group issue age of 45 again unisex unit tobacco so um, in this particular example he's got 20k base cancer with a cancer recurrence writer 20k you can see the premium up there roughly 2 percent 20k heart attack base policy and 20k restoration writer so um, he's getting potentially eighty thousand dollars in coverage for around fifty dollars a month so um, kind of start thinking, uh, thinking about ways to, to pitch it to your customer. So um, again, like if you think about on the slide before, um, issue age of 70. So thinking of ways you can position that the the, the premium rate for that issue age of 70 for $10,000 was thirty six fifty a month. So what you can think about is saying, you know, for a little over a dollar a day, you can get $10,000 if you are to be diagnosed. And you can use that for anything that you want to use it for. Um, you know, the one before that, for, um, you know, 50 cents a day, um, you can get $5,000 um, in coverage. You know, start thinking about ways that you can pitch it that are going to be, um, uh, you know, easy for the customer to understand um, and, and, and uh, see the need there. Next slide. All right, this is for a family coverage, issue rate of 38. So again, everybody on the family gets the full benefit amount. So 20K base, 20K cancer rider, 20K heart attack and stroke and uh, rider as well. And then also $200 a day for hospital and ICU. So um, every person on this policy is getting all of that benefit um, for uh, a little under $90 a month. So again, just start to think about ways that you can, um, you know, position this, bring it up to the customer um, and, and create that need. Next slide. All right, so I mentioned before some of the underwriting, um, but it is really, really easy to qualify a customer for a base policy. So um, there's three questions for a cancer policy base and three questions for a heart attack and stroke policy base. So the three questions that you see here, this is for cancer. Um, so for all policies is uh, the AIDS, age-related complex HIV question. And then for cancer, it's a 10-year look back for uh, diagnosis of internal cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, et cetera. And then a five-year look back for tests that have not been um, uh, results have not been received. So just these three questions for a cancer policy, 10-year look back on diagnosis of cancer, five-year look back on tests. Next slide. And then for heart attack and stroke, just three questions as well. So the AIDS, age-related complex question, and then the remaining two questions that you see here. So for heart attack, it's a 10-year look back on tests and a 10-year look back on heart attack, stroke, TIA, et cetera. Um, I do also want to call out as far as like uh, as far as qualifying folks. So you can see there at the bottom, um, uncontrolled high blood pressure or hypertension requiring more than two medications to regulate would be a um, would cause them to not be qualified. But if they are controlling their blood pressure with medication and it's two or less medications, that's still okay. It's only when it's uncontrolled high blood pressure or when it's hypertension that uh, requires more than two medications. So two and less is okay. Um, so uh, you can still get some of those folks um, in the door that, uh, that may have some hypertension issues, but it is controlled. Uh, next slide. So this slide and then also the remaining slide, if you want to uh, go ahead and go to the next slide, those are the two slides that, uh, or excuse me, those are the remaining health questions if they're going to get any riders. So if they are going to purchase riders, there are going to be um, a total of 11 health questions. But if they're just purchasing a base cancer or base heart attack and stroke, each base policy is only those three health questions. All right, so I'm going to kind of switch gears here and move on to our um, accident policies. We do have two um, accident uh, 
uh, products that we offer through Sigma. Um, the first one that I'll speak to is accident expense. Um, and, and just kind of generically speaking about accident insurance, again, kind of the idea that we spoke to or that I spoke to about the cancer policy in the beginning is starting to paint that picture um, for the need. Um, so the policy uh, the, is offered to under and over 65. We'll take a look at those age groups in a minute. But um, obviously, you know, when you think about accident policies, the first thing you think about is kids and falling or, um, you know, stitches or sports injuries, things like that, that kids are always, you know, getting into accidents. But really, um, seniors as well um, can benefit from this policy. Um, falls account for over 8 million hospital emergency room visits. So, um, uh, again, the need is there uh, um, for these types of policies. Next slide, please. So positioning, again, you want to, you know, paint the picture for the customer in a way that, um, that you know, they will begin to see the need um, to have this type of policy, uh, this type of, excuse me, these types of insurance uh, policies. So um, it can help pay for deductibles unexpected out-of-pocket costs. So uh, the first policy that we'll speak to is a reimbursement. So it will reimburse them for their out-of-pocket costs. So again, if they're um, on, let's say, a Medicare Advantage plan and there's co-insurance involved, or if they're on an ACA plan and they are still, you know, in that deductible uh, range um, for going to the hospital or ER or, um, minute clinic or whatever the case is there. This can help reimburse them back for some of those covered uh, expenses. Um, also, if, you know, if a customer knows that they have coverage and that they're going to be reimbursed, um, more often than not, they will go get that treatment versus um, not getting the treatment and having something potentially turn into something worse. Um, so getting them that financial support, um, uh, et cetera. So also if you think about positioning for budgeting, so if a, uh, if a person has, um, you know, a $6,500 deductible on their major medical plan or on their retirement coverage or on their employer group plan, um, thinking about budgeting. So would it be easier and ask, you know, ask this question to your customer, would it be easier for you to budget $30 a month, you, you know, you have two kids, so the likelihood of there being an accident is higher. Um, you know, kids are always, you know, getting into stuff. So would it be easier for you to budget $30 a month versus having to come up with that deductible if, you know, you know, your child had to go into the ER? So start thinking about ways that you can pitch the policy and bring it up to the customer. Next slide. Um, reiterating this, who's interested, um, families with active children, seniors, customers concerned about those copays and deductibles. Again, thinking about budgeting and if um, with uh, a person's monthly budget or even if they're on a fixed income, um, you know, is it going to be easier for you to start budgeting to have this, this gap insurance, this supplemental health insurance um, to fit, uh, to fill in the gap of those Medicare Advantage plans, of those Medicare supplements, of those ACA plans and retirement plans and employer plans. Um, and then a big call out is that the base policy has no underwriting whatsoever. Um, if the customer is going to add on um, uh, riders, there are some um, underwriting questions associated with the rider. But if they are just getting a base policy, there is absolutely no medical underwriting. Next slide. So product availability for accident expense, again, the expense policies are reimbursement policy, and I'll um, go into features here in a moment of the expense policy. Um, our other plan is called a treatment policy, so just to kind of distinguish the two there. Um, the accident uh, excuse me, the accident expense uh, availability, um, again, think about your non-resident state and, and the opportunity that you have there to expand your book of business by doing phone sales in those uh, non-resident states. Next slide. So the expense policy is a reimbursement policy. So the um, beneficiary or the insured, excuse me, the insured would select their benefit amount and they can select from $2,500 to $25,000. The benefit amount that they choose resets every calendar year and there is a deductible 
um, that would go along with the benefit amount. Depending on the amount they choose, they would have a handful of deductibles that they can choose from, ranging from $0 to $2,500. So that benefit amount resets every calendar year. We offer this to uh, children so starting at birth all the way up to age 74. Um, any occupation is accepted except for active duty military. Um, it is a super simple claims process. So basically, they would fill out the claim form and submit the EOB. And the EOB would show what the customer incurred out of pocket. Um, and if that procedure that's on that EOB is a covered uh, a covered expense, then we would reimburse them for that covered expense um, uh, to the customer. So it goes directly to the customer. There's not going to be any kind of, uh, coordination um, of benefits here. So the customer would simply submit the EOB to us. We would see on the EOB what their out-of-pocket was and what that procedure was or event was. And if it's a uh, uh, covered expense, then we would simply reimburse them for that expense up to their maximum that they, they have chosen. Um, so, so very easy for them to, to get that benefit reimbursement. Um, guarantee renewable to age 80, and there are additional riders that can be added on, a parent rider, catastrophic accidental injury rider, declining deductible, critical illness, and a vehicular injury cash benefit rider as well. Those riders do vary by state. Next slide. All right, so um, setting up a policy or, or selling the policy, it's very easy to explain. They simply select their maximum benefit amount of what they would like their calendar year maximum payout to be. They would choose a deductible. Uh, depending on the deductible, um, it would change their premium. Obviously, the lower, uh, you know, the lower the deductible, um, it changes the benefit amount that they can select from. But um, one thing to kind of, uh, and then you can add on a rider as well, and one thing that you can kind of think about is pairing up their benefit amount potentially um, uh, with what, um, you know, uh, let's say if they go into um, the hospital, a daily coinsurance amount for a hospital. If you think about an average of, you know, three to five days for uh, a stay in a hospital. Um, for someone who has, let's say, a $300 daily hospital coinsurance amount. Start to do the math there, and you can kind of see where you can begin um, to pitch, um, you know, a, a benefit amount. Or if they are on a policy with a deductible, pair up uh, their major medical deductible with the benefit amount. So if they have, you know, a $5,000 deductible um, on their ACA policy or on their um, employer policy, pair up that $5,000, um, quote them a $5,000 benefit amount. So you can kind of see where you'd be able to at least start um, with pitching and then, um, you know, toggle up and down, vary uh, the benefit amount up and down depending on their budget. Um, this is all super easy to quote in Express App so you can see the corresponding premium amount uh, right away. Next slide. All right, so these are the covered. Um, expenses that the customer can be reimbursed for. So again, if it's a covered uh, covered um, expense, they simply submit their EOB, we see what the expense was, and if it's a covered expense, we would reimburse them their out of pocket. Um, so they would be reimbursed what they were um, required to pay out of pocket. Next slide. All right, so there's a few, um, uh, features or a few tidbits to go along with the policy here, but what I kind of want to just make sure I call out is that one, the benefit amount resets every calendar year. So every January 1st, it's wiped clean and it starts new again, um, and that benefit amount resets. Also, number two is that there are no networks. So they can go to any doctor or any hospital. We're not going to say you have to go to a certain doctor or hospital to get your reimbursement. They would simply um, you know, send in that EOB. So um, whatever their out-of-pocket was from that particular doctor or hospital, if it's a covered expense, we would reimburse that out-of-pocket. Next slide, please. All right, so this is just an example of how it works. Um, just for time's sake, I'm not going to go into 
detail on this one because you will, I believe, get a copy of this presentation. But you can kind of just show how, um, uh, in this example, Lisa has a maximum benefit amount that she's chosen. It's got a $250 deductible. So we would take away the deductible um, and then pay out the remaining amount um, of the cost incurred from her accident. So the cost incurred from her accident that she paid out of pocket was $2,600, remove the deductible and the benefit uh, policy would pay out, excuse me, the policy would pay out $2,350 and then she still has the remaining amount for the calendar year. Next slide, please. All right, and then that's some sample rates here for age 65 um, for a $2,500 benefit for $250 deductible, $34.66. Again, I encourage you to go in and quote um, uh, quote your customer um, the different uh, rates that, um, and the different zip codes that you might be working in. Next slide, please. All right, the next policy is our uh, product is our accident treatment product. So um, go ahead and go to the next slide, please. Um, so if you think about the differences between the two um, the treatment product is a little bit more transparent in the fact that it's more of your traditional schedule of benefits type of policy. So the insured will actually know what that benefit payout will be for a particular um, covered expense. Whereas with the expense policy, the reimbursement is based upon their out of pocket. So you can kind of start to think about um, the difference is there if it's in a state, there are some states where only one product is available, but if it's in a state where both products are available and you're trying to think about which one you might pitch to the customer, um, that is, you know, the first thing to think about is uh, that treatment is a schedule of benefits, and I'll, I'll show you an example of that. Um, uh, and then also that uh, the, the pricing there is more transparent. So. Um, uh, we'll take a look at, at, uh, at a, a chart here momentarily that will kind of break down and show you an example of what that looks like. Um, but again, a wide footprint here. Um, more states have the treatment plan available. Um, again, think about your phone sales for those non-resident uh, licenses that you might have. Next slide, please. All right, so uh, again, indemnity style plan. This one has its ages from 18 to 74. Um, it is a fixed schedule of benefits. So um, covering for things like uh, burns, comas, broken bones, ambulance, et cetera. This one actually does have a family lodging benefit as well. Um, there's three categories that you can choose from, basic, plus, or enhanced. And I'll go into that in a, in a moment, but basically it's the same. Uh, we would cover the same um, injury, just depending on which benefit amount they choose that would um, increase or decrease their payout. So let's say they had um, a broken bone, say they broke their arm, and I'm just going to make up numbers here, but let's say they had a broken bone and they chose the basic plan, their payout would be 100 bucks. If they had the plus plan, their payout would be 300 bucks. And if they chose the enhanced plan, their payout would be 500 bucks. So just depending on that level that they choose, it would increase or decrease their payment. Um, and then they can also add on some writers here. Those writers do vary by state, but we have our lump sum cancer and heart writers, hospital ICU writers. Um, and return a premium rider as well. Next slide. So when you're setting up the plan for the customer going through that application, they would simply choose their tier, uh, again, their payout level, basic, plus, or enhanced. It can add on a rider. Um, this one is available for individual, couple, single parent, or family. And then this one does also have an occupational guide that would help determine what class uh, that customer falls into. And if you move to the next slide, it gives a, a, um, some information about that occupational guide. And we do have a link to this guide on the quote page. So it's going to be real easy for you to um, just access that while you're quoting. So you can see there's five classes here. Um, kind of, again, speaking to the differences between the two, I would say that if you are pitching a treatment plan, um, class three, two, and one, those professions compared to um, uh, approximately uh, a lower uh, 
benefit amount for the accident expense policy. It might be a more affordable when you are pitching a treatment policy if it's someone who's on class one, two, or three. But once you move into class four and five, the riskier um, occupation classes, um, the accident expense and accident treatment, if you increase your benefit on expense, those start to become a little bit more even there. Um, but it is super easy, again, too, if you're in Express App, to quote those side by side. So if it's a budget issue, you can kind of quote those side by side and determine, um, you know, what budget, uh, what's going to fit your customer's budget best. Next slide. So again, a lot of customers like this one because it is very transparent. Um, there's a schedule of benefits. It's going to tell the customer exactly what they get for each um, incident for each uh, injury. So we'll look at that chart here on the next slide. Um, and then also, again, no network. So this one is, is kind of interesting to where, um, you know, there's no network, but also they can go anywhere to get their treatment, and we will still give them that same scheduled benefit amount. So it doesn't matter if it's, um, let's say, for example, they went to, um, you know, uh, um, a certain urgent care center that's near their home and they had to get stitches and their out of pocket was $50. Well, let's say that per the, the contract and per the schedule of benefits, we pay $75 for those stitches. We're still going to pay $75. Um, it doesn't matter, um, you know, if their out of pocket was less. But on the other hand, you have to think about um, it also can work in the opposite way. So if they go to an ER where it tends to be a little bit more expensive, let's say their out of pocket was $100 for those stitches. Well, if their schedule of benefits still says $75, and we would still only pay $75. So that's where, again, you can see the difference between treatment and expense, because if it's the other policy, the accident expense policy, we would pay, we would reimburse them their out of pocket expense. So it would be that um, you know, that amount that they actually paid. So those are, again, some differences there between, uh, between the two policies, expense and treatment. Next slide, or excuse me, next slide. Um, this is a sample of the, um, the fee schedule. So you can see that the benefit is on the left-hand side, and then depending on the tier that they choose, the payment increases um, as you move um, uh, across the, the chart there. So, for example, um, hospital intensive care unit confinement. So if they're uh, confined for a covered injury and they have a basic plan, we would pay out $300 a day. If it was a plus plan, we would pay out $450 a day. And if it was an enhanced plan, we would pay out $600 a day. So same benefit, um, and then uh, it would just increase based on uh, which, which um, uh, uh, tier they choose. Next slide, please. All right, so I mentioned there are some riders that do vary by state. Um, just for time's sake, I'm not going to go uh, into those riders, but definitely um, take a look at those when you're quoting the mnemonics. So this slide, uh, and actually the next three slides, we can actually flip through a little quick. Um, this one shows the cancer and stroke rider, and then uh, the uh, following slide. Um, kind of explains a little bit more on the other additional riders there. So, um, uh, material, you're welcome to read through that a little bit more. It's also outlined in the All right, um, the next couple of slides there as well for age 66, um, age 39. So. Again, I encourage you to go into Express App and quote those. And if you want to move on to um, the next slide, uh, keep going. I'll give you a, a glance of what it looks like to quote. So this is Express App, um, our quote and enroll tool. So you would simply click on uh, the green Get Started button to quote the product. Um, next slide. And then after entering your customer's information, their zip code, date of birth, et cetera, um, it will uh, produce a quote screen that will show you all of the products that are available for that age group, 
in that state. So this is an example of the cancer product. Um, you would simply click the green box to select the product. The product brochure is directly below that. If you're quoting family members, you can click that little people button below the product brochure and add in your family members. Um, you can see on the right hand side there in the middle I've circled where it says $5,016. That little drop down arrow, you can toggle the, uh, back and forth between the different amounts and see the uh, corresponding premium for your chosen benefit amount. And then any riders that are available in that state would be uh, listed there in the middle and you simply check the box to add on that rider. Um, and then on the bottom right hand side, you click complete application to move through uh, and complete the application with your customer. Next slide. All right, the next slide is the accident treatment quote. Again, works the same way. You simply check the green box. We've got our product brochures there. Um, you can toggle uh, between your occupation classes there and, and select the appropriate class. Um, the link to the guide is right below that. And then, of course, your writers are there in the middle. And then the ability on the right-hand side there to toggle back and forth between your different selections and see the corresponding premium amount. So that's for accident treatment. That's our schedule indemnity, uh, and, uh, indemnity style policy. And the next one, accident expense. Um, that's our reimbursement policy. Um, again, you can see you can move back and forth between deductible amounts, benefit amounts, uh, add-on riders. And I do want to call out that we do give a 10% uh, bundle discount if you sell uh, this product either with or to a customer that already has um, a Sigma major medical uh, ACA policy uh, or a Sigma Medicare supplement. So they would get a 10% off their premium there. Next slide. All right, so I mentioned a four phone verification. So for all the products I mentioned today, if you're staying in benefit amounts of 50K and under, you do not need to call into phone verification. Um, if they're over 50K, you would need to call into phone verification. Uh, that number is there on the screen. And if you do need to ask an underwriter about any health issues that your customer is telling you about that you're not sure if they're going to be qualified, let's say for the uh, cancer or heart policy, you can call in and speak to an underwriter at that number listed there. And next slide. All right, so um, phone sales I've been mentioning all along, but again, it's super easy. You simply call the customer, go through your needs analysis, fill out the application on Express app while speaking to the customer. Uh, you can skip this middle step if you're writing a, a cancer heart policy, 50K or under, also skip that step if it's accident. Um, and then all you do is simply submit the application. So it is super, super easy for you to, uh, you know, expand your book of business, um, be able to touch more customers, uh, have more conversations, uh, and ultimately um, that will uh, increase your sales. So um, that really leads us to the end of our our presentation here. I do have a contact list uh, on the last page of our, our uh, material here in case you do need to contact anyone at Cigna. Uh, but I really appreciate everybody's time today. Again, my name is Juliet Buck. I know we went through a lot today, um, three products uh, in a short amount of time, um, especially during this AEP season. I know your time is valuable, but I really appreciate your time today. So thank you so much. Thanks, Julia. We really appreciate your time as well. Um, we value it and appreciate the partnership. A few things really quickly for agents on the line. Some of the things I want to remind you of, of, of benefits you get while and for working with Premier Marketing. We do discount errors and emissions for agents. These are products that then would apply for any contract that you have with any hierarchy, not just within our family of products. We do also discount continuing the education package, and make it easy for you to contract with multiple carriers through our Assurance Bay software program that's available off of our website. You basically create an agent profile and select carriers uh, one at a time, and it autofills those contracts for you, makes a, the process much more simple, uh, and keep you from that old carpal tunnel syndrome. We do have a full portfolio of educational opportunities, different trainings that we've gone through that are recorded much as today's presentation is, so you can access them 24-7 um, from marketing concepts through different types of product presentations, electronic support, our quote engine. Uh, one of the things that is made available through that quote engine is an opportunity to 
show a Cigna Medicare supplement program and add on some of the ancillary benefits and shows how it ties in and uh, eliminates the holes in the coverage. You also have different electronic enrollment pieces, including Medicare Center that allows you to do Medicare Advantage and Medicare's the PDP applications remotely, uh, contacting an individual and securing the scope of appointment and doing the actual enrollment remotely as well. We do have a program that can put your social media programs on autopilot so you can reach out to people through all the lovely programs that are available on the internet. We have a full menu of lead programs to put you in front of folks as well, from direct contact of you to the prospect and client to community-based programs to help set you up as the subject matter expert in your community. Um, we do also subsidize mail programs based on uh, the, your production with our organization, and we want to earn your business. So that said, the programs that we're gone over today are, are crucial for coverage for folks that you deal with, particularly in the Medicare world where we are very budget conscious and helps the folks plan for the future. It is then an opportunity for you to make certain that that is part of your overall marketing program um, and that you're prepared to offer it to the prospects and clients that you visit here uh, and in the near future. This toll-free number, 800-365-8208, will get you in touch with any premier marketer that you've been working with. The people listed on this page are here in our Dallas office. Um, we welcome the opportunity to visit with you and make certain that we cover every question and give you the support that you merit as our partners in the field. I want to thank you once again for spending some time with us today. Keep in mind today's presentation is being recorded and it, along with some additional information, will be forwarded to you as part of today's presentation. Once again, thank you for your time and we wish you good selling. Thanks so much.